In a galaxy far away from ours, located in the southern hemisphere of a planet that rotates around its solar system, Adelan stands out as a country where colors reign. It owes its colorful nature to the Fountain of Colors, located at the heart of Adiland. Its inhabitants are joyful, hard-working, and creative people. Hidden in a cave behind the Fountain of Colors, seven color keys exist. They provide color, in other words, life, to the Fountain and to all of Adiland. For this very reason, the Fountain is a special and magical place among all Adelanders. In order to protect the Fountain of Colors from the people with harmful deeds, the elders of Adiland designed a gateway that can only be opened with a magical key. The key had a triangular shape and was handed to the leader of a group of special kids. This group was named as Guardians of Colors. Back in the day, Vice, the sage of Adiland, along with his former and best friend Untor, were the guardians of colors. Untor was disappointed and got jealous when Vice was chosen as the leader and was handed the magical key of the Fountain of Colors. The urge of possessing the magical key occupied him. As he became distant with Vice because of jealousy, he became friends with a new and strange fellow named Orcus. After working on a grand plan of stealing the magical key from Vice, they both got caught in the act, exiled from Adeland, and settled to Granat. Granat was a colorless, ashy country located in the northern hemisphere of the planet. Surrounded by steep rocks, dust, and mines, it was entirely covered by mists and paleness. Granators were unable to see the primary colors, they only saw a portion of secondary colors. As they started losing sight of colors, their eyes got increasingly vulnerable. Untor, allied with Orcus, manifested a plan to provoke Granators against Adalanders. He preached to them that Adalanders would come to Granat and enslave Granators by using color weapons. But he had a better plan. They would act swiftly and strike Adeland to capture the magical key of the Fountain of Colors. Thus, he envisioned and designed eyeglasses which would protect the eyes of Granators from colors. Believing in Untor's words, Granators set out to Adeland and damaged the Fountain of Colors. A number of color keys were spread over the corners of the planet. On his journey back to Granat, Untor brought two of the color keys with him as a token of victory. As he told the Vice years ago, he had successfully constructed a revengeful plan and captured the color keys. Life in Adeland was not as it used to be. The colors were fading as the years passed. Meanwhile, Vice, former leader of the Guardians of Colors, parted Adeland and moved to a cottage in the woods where he dedicated himself to working on his new inventions. In the meantime, as the guardians of colors of the present era, our heroes, Hero, Adelia, Notro, and Rimba, seek to find ways of restoring the colors of Adeland. Before venturing forth to their quest of finding the color keys, they had to find Vice. Will they ever be able to find Vice and bring the colors back to Adeland? Come and join us in Adeland as the rest of the story unfolds.